Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey in Tilthran County where I'm trying to survive with our war band and we have a couple of news to share. So first of all I did uh, all of uh, the inventory management etc etc. We're down to around 200 uh, crowns which is fine. Namri has almost gotten her level up in blacksmith. We got that nice new Iron Falcon <clears throat> to uh, to uh, go along. Miss Grell is still waiting for her upgraded armor. Uh, we also got ourselves a reinforced buckler, uh, buckler, which is great. We got a new axe for JP Pauly, uh, which finally isn't just for show, but he is now dealing solid 13 points of damage. We already got the spear that uh, was available beforehand and we got a new bow dexterity plus seven which raises our actual shots to around 20 points of damage which is fantastic and we got a new member to our crew zoe long-term uh, subscriber and much commenter on our skyrim playthroughs uh, has made it into the team i mentioned i wanted a second archer now is a good time i think we can sustain a group of seven for now. Uh, seems like the right e amount of uh, people and a second, uh, a second range character will go a long way. She also has a relatively high dexterity, so she's already dealing a lot of damage. She took the old bow and we need to level her up so that she can actually wear light armor. As it stands for now, she's potentially the weakest character with only 20 hit points, so we gotta be careful. But we're almost a full bunch uh, and with Zoe on board she became like the alchemist for now. What else did I do? I think I crafted up to 20 medicine so we're good. We got 20 raw materials so we're good there as well. And I learned a bunch of new recipes as well. So besides wolf uh, sausage we can make carp. If I ever get my hands on honey, that would be good. And grapes and mutin plus salt should get that wonderful strength meal. So let's maybe buy some grapes and some mutin and then we're off to our actual adventure. You touch it, you buy it. So grapes, one, two, three, four. Let's just go and buy eight you know what let's buy ten that's fine those refugees i understand there's a war in Edoran, but that doesn't mean they can just help mutants themselves. are also good we got enough uh, to keep ourselves uh, selves nice and and well fed selling a few of the medicine because we actually have plenty of them just to get up to the 200 threshold. We're fine. And let's cook real quick and then we can give it a go. Very well. And us a knowledge point. I, by the way, got us a new apothecary recipe as well and purchased a couple there. Uh, we got strengthening and sharpening oil, which requires pristine essences. So once we get a plague ridden sample, which is very likely to appear soon, uh, we can actually use that. In terms of other stuff that we can learn, this here we know already. I think next up we wanted to really lose that uh, suspicion faster. So that'll help us. Good. Look, we got plenty of, uh, plenty of uh, stuff to do. I would today want to go to here and deal with the bandits plus a lot of the other a lot of the other threats. Is this the right way? This here is actually the right way. Well, 
with all of our buffs, we should be more than capable of dealing with whatever is down here. Couldn't uh, blacksmith a second set of heavy armor, unfortunately, because we're uh, still lacking um, cloth, I think, uh, was what we were lacking. Good, putting more in here. I think three and three is fine. Is there anything else we need to create? We've created most of that, if not all of it. The only thing that we have not created is the camp chest, which would give us craft experience for a first um, time bonus. So might as well do that. Not to be underestimated. Okay, and that reduces our carrying capacity. I got you. Good. That is fantastic, by the way. Increases happiness. A little bit more of this. And a bit more of that. Very good. Of course, we're being interrupted. But I'm not sure why three level one characters feel the need of attacking an entire party. That seems like they are looking for trouble. Well, be it as it may. How can we pick that up? Uh, spear throw. <laughs> Holy, he is dealing a lot of damage. All right, Dilly. Takes a shot. Kills this guy. And they are already fleeing. They haven't even started. Good, so we got some medium armor here. And I just wanted to double check how that is comparing to our other armor. Critical damage plus 5%. It's a bit of a different armor because it allows you to guard more, but you also crit, uh, or, and you crit hard, harder, but you crit less and it's less movement. I think we'll stay with what we have. This is a, com a surprisingly low armor armor for medium. But yeah, just gets to show how good the craft armor actually is. I have completely underestimated that at the beginning of the game. Let's get the easy reward down here and then we're getting the other reward. I want to make some more money because in the next arrest we will have to pay our companions. Now 
No, that's the wrong way. We need to go up here. Very much into the wilderness. Good, so pretty sure we're on the right track here. Just need to engage with these guys. There is another group of bandits. Leader's aggression. That will be ex critical hit increased by 40%. Wow, okay. Lots of poachers down here. Jim moves to here. Polly, Daddy G moves to there. Namri takes over that side. I think we're okay for now. That hodlum here is gonna go first. going to get some protection for ourselves, a deflection rather, and then let's go. Minimum damage, this little bit of poison tickles as be at best. One. And a kill. And I think we're moving over here just to open that passage. Enders take some damage. I think now is a good time. to move, um, could move to here, gets two for free, hit this guy, before then charging in line here and ending uh, the turn. Good, we're moving up. Weakening this guy, hitting him, and we're good. Almost no damage. Our tanks are doing a fantastic job. <laughs> and the pikeman is also good. Galvanization, cool. was a good hit. Polly moves up, takes a defensive action, and we're good. Good, what we do not want is to stay here for too long.
Dilly moves up, takes a shot, and hopefully kills this guy. Very well. Dex plus six, that looks good. Another trinket and some more cloth. And plenty of people are, have leveled up. So first of all, Dex plus six is not an upgrade, right? No, it is not. However, we could upgrade uh, willpower for, uh, to get to that 15 points threshold and more chance of a critical hit. I think we're going to do that. Miss Grell has also leveled up to level three. I think the defensive stance is what we want to do. That is also not bad. I think we could use this, um, plus we do have defense on the shield. That one is really good just to hold the line. Deflection is fantastic. I will scale that again just because I think it is so, so good. And uh, getting another two in willpower is great as well. Namri could get her constitution up. Uh, yeah, no complaints from my side. 27 constitution and 54 hit points. Looks like a sizable tank in my book. This is another Fisher's challenge. And finally, with enough people here, we also can make sure that we that everybody has their little niche where they support uh, the party. of resources here can't let them go to waste good here we're catching eel I'm lacking the proper fish recipes so far. The one thing that I've learned is the bigger recipes, like with the permanent uh, bonus, they are really what we're looking for. By the way, you gotta create uh, some more fish hooks, sturdy fish hooks that is. Good enough. We're creating some more bread. No, 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 no. We only need one course. That, that, 
A little bit of that. And a bit of that. Plus we're paying our mercenaries. Danger level's high. That's how we like it. Those nightly ambushes actually serve a purpose. We're getting some more experience. Good. Namri and Miss Grell are the front line. And their center is in the middle. Back line. Seems like a decent plan. Alright, so. Orderly. I think we're going with encouragement. That is still a really good skill. We gain protection and we start attacking. All right, done. Move to here. Motivate you for more damage. And then move out of the way. We'll get two bonus uh, points to spend, move up, kills that, throws that up there, hits you, and then We're moving back. Oh, 24 points of damage, holy. <clears throat> Followed up by a nasty, nasty kill. Dilly moves up, takes a shot, straight up bursts him. <laughs> Kills the second one just with another well placed shot. Good. Let's see what we've got here. Light armor, a lot of movement and critical hit. I th I think that's not generally not bad. So we can't equip light armor yet. Yeah, the armor is okay. We just don't have these trinkets yet. Uh, can't can't put them into the armor. Fantastic. He gets some more experience. I like that. Okay, so. Let's get uh, back from the wilderness. I would love uh, to do the other two fights both average in difficulty let's just up our alleyway
Good, there is a Tome of the Ancients somewhere here, and there is a Bandit's Lair. So might as well just go straight to the Bandit's Lair, and on our way we can get the Tome of the Ancients. Well, we've already found the tome. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't explore yet. Let's exit first. Is there nothing out here? We only got Nerathon. Today, we scholars exploring the tomb, are we mercenaries? Steal yourselves. People often go missing in there. Good, let's get that one off and that one. 13, two movement and one crit. Trade goods, we bought that for 50 and we can sell it for 55. I think that's okay, savvy businessman. We're back to 200, which is good. A torch, well, we can build that ourselves. Don't need your help with that. So it tells us we need potentially a torch and a couple of other items if we're climbing through there. Good, let's craft two torches. And a bit more rope. And whilst we're at it, one more python. Okay, I think overall we're prepared to explore that tome. Did the guy have anything else? Pretending to be scholars exploring the tomb, are we mercenaries? All right, tomb, here we come. Okay, I see how it is. How much does a torch cost us? 27, no, that's not acceptable. We're the exploration takes fire, and that means torches are the way to go. Can learn new blueprints and improve camping gear. How can he improve camping gear? Alright, let's just place that into the inventory. Yeah, we can't improve that apparently. Not sure how we are improving. Just a profession, no. It's potentially learning it through here. Alright, wait a second. Let's see. Maximum Valor is good. I like that.
Forged weapons are 10% better. I really like that because so far foraging is the way to go. Better sales prices isn't bad either. And we can't really do much with those armor layer slots because we don't have anything yet. So I'll just learn the 10% better armor. Long distance runner. Movement speed on roads increased by 20%. That's fantastic. Which is paid uh, minus 10%. That is also good. Purchase price of trade goods reduced by 10%. I think we're just going to uh, to do the movement speed first. One thing that I learned with many, many of the RPGs is you want to move fast. Good. We are actually getting bonuses for throwing bombs. Locations. Uh, use oils. We can somehow catch animals. I have not figured out how that works yet. This game has a surprising amount of depth. Good, let's explore further. We need a key in order to get that. Let's take a right. New profession bard. I love it. That is great. So who, who could be our bard and what does it do? Uh, Bard, constitution plus one. Okay, who has... Well, we got a good cook here. And you know what? Whoever is cooking is also sort of a decent Bard. Wouldn't you agree? Like, those two things generally go well together. Decent, not great. You gained the artist codex and a fragment of a precious item. The codex is damaged, you can use Lucerne to restore it. I don't know what Lucerne is, but we're going to find out. In the meantime, you're a great bard, but you're also a good cook, so let's stick with cooking. I like this dungeon exploration. All right, let's continue our exploration forward. Oh, the first actual like vampiric monsters, non-humans. All right, let's fight.
question is where are the monsters? Namri Jim Miss Grell All right again same question where are the monsters huge map first impression fighting in the dark absolutely sucks Protection and defense. End of turn. Well, Namri is already there. Might as well work with what we've got. 30 hit points. Move up. Hit that red nicely, and then we're hiding out here. All right, Creeper moves up, I like that. When an enemy has less than half of their health, uh, use a chains or rope to capture them. How would that work? Use chains or ropes to capture them. Okay, well. All right, captured. Gotcha. Hit the creeper, who seems to be absolutely vulnerable to fire. Bit of poison, and then let's just get that extra one veiler done. Jim moves up. Thirty seven points of damage. All right. Okay, end of turn. Namri moves in, deflects, waits for an attack. Okay, well, we want to capture these guys. I like the idea of having a couple of rats. Okay, how can how can I get that red? I think we'll just uh, stick with one rat. It is what it is. All right, 
We found a mole rat. This animal was captured in combat and was added to the troop. What exactly does a mole rat do other than eating? It is cute. I will give it that. Um, seems to be a strength-based character. Might as well build up strength. And you could give it carrying capacity, really. Um, yeah, I imagine a completely nude mole rat that is going to help us. Damage increased 25% for each ally, uh, allied mole rat within 6 meters. Plus, as long as this unit moves in darkness, they have brutality. Well, not surprisingly, they are fighting well in darkness. Let's inspect this one here. You have discovered Rune of Performance. I think this was pretty much it, right? Just hovering over the other runes unfortunately doesn't do much. Break open, select a miner. Well, I can tell you who a great miner is. Memory is an apprentice all right go ahead we got a lot of sandstone out of that on top of some mining experience cool That whole exploration is fantastic. I am enjoying myself, although it is not really kind of a tactical RPG. We got the crude key for the beginning. More torches, which will help us to stay in here for longer. And we can even start to open locks. Very good. Uh, Artist Codex Chapter 2. You can use uh, lesser uh, lectern to restore that. Okay, cool. This could have been a tool of a g g gifted sculptor and mark of many masterpieces instead. Um, Bonus has a chance of finding sandstone when mining. Okay. A small ancient object. A scholar could repair it. So wait, are you telling me that this year the chisel allows us to also get sandstone? Okay. And a scholar could repair it. I have no idea where to find a scholar. Well, now I know where to find a scholar because apparently we've just learned that trade. So what does a scholar do? It's the 10th trade. Can decipher uh, codices and piece them together. It gets willpower. Okay, if you're an alchemist, Zoe, then you could be a scholar, right? Dilly G is a thief and pretty good at that.
and Zoe could be a scholar. All right, here we go. Let's go. Maybe the combination was incorrect. Well, they don't let uh, they don't let you brute force through it. So he also has an injury; can no longer be chosen to compete in tasks. Okay, we don't know the combination, so this is total guesswork. And in order to not uh, to not uh, hurt us any further, let's move back. There is a red Z Z Z. Okay. Fragments of a small item, only squatted pieces of these ancient objects remain. Scholar could repair that. Uh, apparently, Scholar is an entire ta uh, task for itself. Advance cautiously. Good, we got the yellow, um, the yellow lightning and the red Z. I mean, all right, so that is a good start. However, we need to first of all get that one going. Then we want uh, that one on the bottom side. No, that's the middle side. Okay, I got you. Good, so that middle section is fine. Um, yeah, that uh, section needs to go over there. I'll just play around with it a little bit. And there we go. After a lot of uh, moving around, we got that little alpha here, double alpha. It's just one bottom left piece missing. All right, so we got that yellow lightning and a red Z, which just means we need a blue one, and it's kind of that blue TIE fighter circle. Moving over, is there anything else? We got a J here. 
but that seems to be non-relevant. Good, our scholar. Blue TIE Fighter, that's correct. I think that was it. We have uh, figured out a puzzle, but uh, that apparently hasn't given us anything. We're fighting against a number of creepers and a number of mole rats. I think we can't capture the creepers, but we might be able to capture the mole rats. The one question that I would have is why exactly has our torch disappeared? And there's here still has a torch in his hand. Okay, I see. It's just a matter of perspective. As so often in life, it is a matter of perspective. Good, Miss Grell. Ah, I think we're starting with Namri. Protection, yes. Attack, equally yes. 18 hit points, wow. Anders begins to move up. Capturing. That's good. Creepers take some poison damage and I think we're just going to go back here. points of damage holy buffs everyone and then ends the turn all right we are moving up Straight up kill, and I think we're leaving it as that. I might want to get that more red. Never mind, never mind. Putting up deflection, we're good to go. Putting up more deflection and we're still good to go. Namri begins to move up. We have this nice little front line going. Wow, nasty hit. We could continue and kill the thing, but instead, I much rather would like to capture it. Okay, 
captured it. And we're just rushing over here. Alright, Dilly G moves up into the light, hits a thing and we're done. Okay, well, we captured one more mole rat. Two more. Cannot be chosen to complete tasks? Yeah, I couldn't care less. Bit more constitution would be helpful. Uh, plus one critical hit. Yeah, we can live with that. I can't believe that we're that we're actually carrying a sortiment of rats around with us. We're breaking the tomb. Yes. 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 And very successful, yes. Got some more sandstone. We got chapter three of the artist codex and the owner of this broken relic must be a noble lineage. A scholar could restore that item. Again, we're going back to being a blacksmith. It is really dark here. I don't know if that's on purpose or if I'm missing something. Might have been kind of the final tomb. I think we can only turn back. But look, that's okay. I mean, we don't want to, uh, we don't want to stay in here for too long. Pretending to be scholars exploring the tomb, are we, Mercy? Fantastic. So, first of all, can you guys... No. I have a swarm of naked rats. I gotta reconsider my life choices with that one. Okay, so fair enough. We got out of there. Rope was not even needed. Most of that is okay. Uh, can we or should we create something else? I, I'm still wondering how the scholar could actually work. Can decipher codices and piece them together, solves puzzles and tombs, and gets bonus for that. Now, you can restore that. Lectern. Uh, you can use the lectern to restore that. Where is the lectern? That's a good question. Well, we'll figure that out the next time. I think for today we are done. We very successfully explored the tomb. And with those new rats in our, in our toe, 
we need to make sure that every that, that's a lot of mouth to feed but at least they don't seem to cost any uh, cost anything and who wouldn't want to run around with a lot of mole rats cool that brings us to the end of uh, today ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching if you want to pet these cute little hairless buggers then feel free to hit the like button uh, they will very much appreciate that and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.